This video is for you that have lost access to your MetaMask wallet on Google Chrome on your PC and have not previously saved your recovery seed phrase, like me. If you've had this same problem, probably you've already found this tutorial from MetaMask support, if not, I'll leave the link on the description. Important, you will not follow this MetaMask tutorial, because it gets stuck at some point and it's not possible to finish the process, and also because my method is much simpler and easier than the one shown here, so we will just use this tutorial for some reference. And also, I found this method so good and easy that I think it's even better than the seed phrase for backup in case you need to recover your MetaMask wallet in the future, and I'll be talking about it in the end of this video. This is the case I'll be talking about on this video that is if you no longer have access to the Chrome browser on your PC but still have access to the computer's files. In my case specifically, my Windows 10 crashed and I lost access to my Windows as well as my Chrome browser which was linked to my MetaMask wallet, and again, I did not have my recovery seed phrase. Just follow the instructions on this video to easily recover your wallet. So, on this section of the MetaMask tutorial you will find the path that you have to follow to find your vault folder on the disk you had Windows installed before it crashed. This is my new Windows disk, but it will look exactly the same as on the disk you will try to recover your vault folder from. So, this is the vault folder you are looking for. Once you have found that exact same folder, back it up on an external disk. Now, I'll go back to my folder and delete my vault folder so I can show you how this will work. For this to work right, you cannot have MetaMask extension installed on your Google Chrome just yet. Best thing to do is to install Chrome from zero. If you already have installed the MetaMask extension, just remove it and close Chrome. Go to the folder you have previously backed up your vault folder, right click and copy. If you have not yet done so, install Google Chrome, but don't open it yet. Now, go back to the MetaMask tutorial and follow this path on your newly installed Windows 10 disk. Once you find it, paste the vault folder in there just like that. If for any reason the folder is already there, delete it and paste the new one. And now comes the good part. Open Chrome and reinstall MetaMask extension, or if you work with synced Google Chrome, just log into your account and it will reinstall all your previous extensions back. Then, boom, welcome back. Just input your f***ing password and be happy. Now, you can go to settings on your wallet and regain access to your seed phrase. So, don't waste your time and write it down on a physical notepad and also download the .csv file and throw it in the cloud so you never lose it again. Now I'll tell you why I think using my method for backup is even better than using the seed phrase, but remember to write down your seed phrase anyway for extra safety. So, you saw when I just recovered my wallet using my method, it opened just like it was before the crash, with all my networks and assets visible. Now I'm recovering my wallet using the seed phrase, and see what happens. It opens only with Ethereum network, so you will not see all your assets right away and will have to add your Binance Smart Chain and other networks back again. So what I plan to do from now on, besides saving my seed phrase really well is, 
from time to time, maybe after each transaction for extra safety, I will back up that same Vortal folder we talked about on this video, and save it on the cloud, so I will always have the folder stored in a safe place for a quick recovery of my MetaMask wallet. I really hope I was able to help you solve your problem. If you liked this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for support. Thanks for watching.